The British Virgin Islands are widely known as one of the best snorkeling destinations in the Caribbean. Despite the numerous problems threatening the world's tropical seas, the reefs here still abound with life, none more beautiful than the multitude of fish species that call the coral gardens home. To survive in this biodiverse and crowded ecosystem, every species needs to adapt to a particular niche in the environment, each one serving a special role. We want to show you guys some of the fish species we witnessed while we explored this incredible habitat, and shed some light on the niches they fill and the adaptations they have evolved to do so. We hope you're ready, because there's more to these fish than initially meets the eye. One of the most iconic species in all of the Caribbean is the Surgent Major, a species of damselfish found commonly throughout the warm regions of the Atlantic Ocean. We encountered this species, easily recognizable by its beautiful blue and yellow coloration and black banding, on almost every underwater expedition we embarked upon, hanging about near the surface of the water around coral reefs. These guys are truly voracious omnivores. They'll eat everything from algae and plankton to crustaceans and small fish as well. And they've even been known to eat the waste products of other species. This gives them an important role in the ecosystem. They act as a kind of trash can that keeps the reef clean and free of extraneous waste. Now, Sergeant Majors make up the middle trophic level of the reef, meaning that while they're predators to many species, they're also prey items to others. Groupers, jacks, and barracudas are all notable predators of Sergeant Majors, and we'll be covering some of the larger reef fish in an upcoming episode. On a reef, one of the most important niches to fill is that of an algivore, an herbivorous animal that feeds exclusively on algae. In the British Virgin Islands, and in fact throughout much of the tropical Atlantic, this role is filled by surgeon fish. On our expeditions, we encountered two different species, the Atlantic Blue Tang and the Ocean Surgeon Fish. The Atlantic Blue Tang is a brilliantly colored fish found along the shallow reefs wherever algae is plentiful. This species will form schools around abundant food resources or break off into smaller groups to search for new feeding locations. The Ocean Surgeon Fish is a close relative, exhibiting similar behavior to their cousin and feeding off of the same material. Their range extends farther north up the Atlantic coast of the U.S., which limits competition. Because algae is quite low in nutrients and is hard to digest, surgeon fish must feed continuously and in large quantities to be able to sustain themselves. When we went down for a dive, we could always find a few surgeon fish picking at the algae on the exposed coral. Trimming back algae actually helps the coral, which needs sunlight to fuel symbiotic relationships that they rely on to survive. There were so many fish on the reefs that we couldn't possibly hope to film them all, but one type of fish caught our attention immediately, butterfly fish. The four-eyed butterfly fish is easily recognizable by their namesake spots, which mimic a pair of eyes. Scientists believe that these spots are a defense mechanism to protect against predators by making the fish appear larger than it really is. Both species of butterfly fish we encountered, the four-eyed and the banded butterfly fish, feed on small invertebrates like shrimp and aquatic worms, and can weave in and out of the coral incredibly well to hunt. They have been known to navigate through tiny cracks in coral heads, and even swim upside down. This helps them reach prey that other larger species can't get to. Another striking species is the bluehead wrasse. It's not hard to tell where they get their name from. They also feed on invertebrates, and have been known to clean parasites off of other reef fish, which is a valuable niche to fill. These fish are preyed upon by many larger species like snappers and eels, so they rely on the coral to protect themselves by hiding within it whenever a predator approaches. Perhaps the most underappreciated niche on the reef is that of the feeder fish, which in the British Virgin Islands is filled by the reef silverside. This incredible species will school in the thousands, and in an instant you can be surrounded by a massive cloud of shiny silver fish while out on a snorkeling expedition. At times we were surrounded by so many of these fish that we could hardly see the reef right in front of us. These guys will congregate around sandy lagoons, mangroves, and shallow reefs, where they feed on zooplankton and tiny aquatic invertebrates. 
The reef silverside measures only an inch or two in length, meaning that they are prey for almost every aquatic predator out on the reef. They may seem small and insignificant compared to some of the larger, more eye-catching species that inhabit the reefs of BVI, but feeder fish like reef silversides are actually a vital part of the ecosystem. If there wasn't an abundance of small prey species to make up the lower trophic levels of the reef ecosystem, none of the other species that call the reef home could sustain themselves. Even though most people tend to overlook this plentiful species, a stable population of feeder fish is critical to the health of the reef. So as we continue to examine the threats that coral reefs are facing, it's important that the well-being of these species are taken into account as well. The scrawled filefish was one of our most surprising finds, and we were super lucky to get this guy on camera. Scrawled filefish are found all over the world in tropical waters from the Caribbean to the Great Barrier Reef, and they reside around sandy bottom lagoons and coral reefs. However, this species has also been known to travel with floating masses of sargassum, a type of free-floating seaweed, where they go to feed and also take shelter from predators. Despite their vibrant blue patterning, the scrawled filefish's primary defense mechanism is camouflage, though in the event that they are spotted by a predator, they will quickly dive into a crevice in the reef and wedge themselves in using their retractable spines, making it almost impossible for a predator to catch them. In such a diverse ecosystem as the coral reef, it is no surprise that the creatures found here have evolved with some incredible adaptations. Each member of the ecosystem has a unique role made possible by these adaptations, allowing a wide variety of species to coexist. Exploring this habitat was a true honor and pleasure, but we're not done yet. We still have many incredible species to show you guys from this underwater paradise. If you're excited to see more of the amazing aquatic life of BVI, be sure to like this video and comment down below which species you're hoping to see in the next episode. And remember, subscribe now so that you don't miss any of our future videos as they come out. See you soon, guys!